Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Greg Moore, and I'm with the Greater Lake City Chamber of Commerce. And we, on behalf of the entire board, which you see standing behind me, I would like to welcome all of y'all to the 59th Annual South Carolina Tobacco Festival. Look, we have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful uh, board of directors at the chamber. We are all civically minded people, the staff and the directors. We're a team. And what we've done from working as a team is we've galvanized the community support around us. And the overflowing support that we've received from our merchants has really been a humbling experience. Um, you know, they, they've opened themselves up to us. Um, with their generosity, with their, with their efforts, with their support. Um, we've received, uh, like I said, a really humbling amount of participation and support from our local community. And it's based on the fact that we're a united board and a group, and um, everybody's beginning to recognize that. And we've got, this, we've got the Tobacco Festival going in the right direction, and we are going to return it back to its heydays of the 1980s. The 59th Annual South Carolina Tobacco Festival is absolutely, once again, a Greater Lake City Chamber of Commerce event. You know, we're coming into our second century of operation at the Chamber. This is actually year 101, and year 59 for the Tobacco Festival. But it's not just about the Greater Lake City Chamber of Commerce. It's about our merchants, it's about our citizens, and it's about other civic organizations. You know. We, for the Tobacco Festival, we're the cog in the middle of a wheel, but we've got all these folks that come out. We've got different organizations that have stepped up and contributed, like the Low Country Bush Hookers, like the South Carolina Barbecue Association, KFA, Dancing on Main. We've got a Community Museum Society, which has brought a William Henry Johnson Smithsonian exhibit, which is absolutely amazing, here to our town. To put that in perspective, the next smallest city that has shown this traveling Smithsonian exhibit is Baltimore. And you look at the cities that it's gone to, uh, it's places like Atlanta, Dallas, Orlando, Chicago, Lake City. That's not a typo, I didn't misspeak. This thing has come into Lake City, South Carolina. William Henry Johnson is a Florence native and we are absolutely delighted to have his artwork in town.
one of the things that we do at the Greater Lake City Chamber of Commerce is uh, we're very reactive to the needs of our merchants and our citizens uh, here in Lake City. And uh, you know, we actively started looking out for suggestions and, and really, for lack of a better term, complaints. Because that's the only way that you can uh, uh, improve yourself is to hear what you're doing wrong. And uh, some of the major complaints that we had, number one was the blocking of the streets. Uh, it did, did not help the downtown merchants and it was extreme hassle to the citizens of the town. So uh, we've got several new venues that have come online that are, uh, we're taking full advantage of them. One of them is the Orb, that's the old Ragsdale building and it's located on Church Street, approximately half of a block from our, down, our beautiful downtown Village Green. And uh, we have a natural flow this year in the festival. It starts on the Village Green and then it runs to the, the Pole Barn and the Works Caboose Cafe where we have our kids zone. And then uh, the Orb is right across the road. So, like I said, it's the old Ragsdale building. It's a perfect spot for us to host uh, low country bush hookers who are having a big uh, $500 uh, big catfish contest. And uh, also uh, the Swamp Fox Car Club, which is uh, doing a, a classic car show down there. And we created down around to support the uh, the car club's efforts, um, just an outdoor kids area. We've got DNR, we've got casting for kids, we've got the Boy Scouts, because um, this is really a family friendly festival, and you know we want activities for all ages. Our team is very special, all but shot. Everybody has to have a serious medical condition or had a serious medical condition to be on our team. Heart attacks, seizures, diabetes, everybody on this team. That's why we call them all but shot. Well, best friend of mine, he and I started this thing about two years ago and 
Now I've got my future son-in-law and another friend that's joined in with us. So. You're working with your future son-in-law, that's gonna right. be a little tough. Well, you can always slap him <laughs> before he's married. That's the, that's the key component in a good barbecue that's sauce. That's exactly right. A little bit of temper in there. You got to have that kicker. <laughs> and the reason we're gonna be a step above everybody else is we got a secret song. Don't tell nobody, tell you to hate it. <laughs> and uh, obviously we won't come in no lower than 12. Now you guys have done pretty well in the past couple of competitions you've been in, right? Yeah, we racked up the King Street, but it's a different day. This is the third year in a row that you're participating in this event. Yes. And you won the first two years. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, we the first one was out at the airport, and of course it was a, it was a tough cook-off, nasty weather that night, but the hog turned out real good, and the box come together great. Uh, lucky enough to get a, a good score from the judges, and of course last year we were out here, the cook-off turned out great again, and. Uh, Lucky enough, we, we did it back to back years. And do you think FTC now has something to do with that? Sure, I think the very first time that you guys come and interviewed and was a part of it, so you, you set me on a roll. So let's see if we can do it three times. <laughs> now, what's the secret this year to make sure that you win that third one? I don't know. The, the, it, it's got to be a good pig to start with, and then we got to have a good cook tonight. Everything's got to come off right. Tomorrow morning at 8, 9 o'clock, the temperatures got to be where they need to be, and the box has got to come together. There's got to be a lot of animosity from the other teams out here. Uh, considering that you won two years in a row. How do you feel about that? I, I don't know. They ain't saying nothing to me, so if, if it's animosity, they're keeping it to yourself, that's fine. <laughs> and can you go home happy tomorrow knowing that you may not win, considering well, that you won two years in a row? Well, three years would be nice. Don't get me wrong. Three years is wonderful. Uh, but I've done. we've done enough competitions that we know that any given Saturday morning, you can get beat. Uh, any given Saturday morning, whatever comes off that cooker and what box goes together tomorrow, when he hits the judge's hands tomorrow morning, it's up to them at that point. All we can do is turn in the best box we can. How do you celebrate if you win three years in a row? Don't know, I hadn't really thought about it. This has been a long season and uh, this is kind of the, the third quarter of the season and the first two quarters have been a little tough for us, so uh, don't know what we'll do tomorrow afternoon. See me tomorrow afternoon about five o'clock. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, I appreciate it. All right, without any further ado, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by giving away some trophies. We're going to start with the fan favorite. This was uh, selected by an anonymous panel of judges. We had 25 judges that went around. And the winner is, you don't want to mess with Shady. Slim Shady Barbecue! Absolutely, and Miss Ronnie, am I mistaken? Did you sweep the fan favorite? But uh, yes, both wings and boys swept them. All right, we are now going to go on to the ribs. I have picked at this person about this being a business trip for him coming to Lake City, South Carolina. This is Up in Smoke. <laughs> Mr. Brian T. I'm a, is this a rib dynasty? Is this the third year you've won ribs? Uh, second year, one ribs. Last year was third. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Up in Smoke, the T's. We do it. We do have a chair for you if you'd like to get paid. We're now going to the fifth place, and that is. One moment. All right, fifth place, whole hog, Doco Smoke.
And don't go smoke. You also won the wings last night. Is that correct, that Joe? Is correct. Where are you from? Blackwood, South Carolina. Welcome to Lake City. People come into town and we give them money. Thank you. I like it. Fourth place, whole hog. This team was very, very close last night to winning the fan favorite in the wing throwdown. In fact, I think that Shady beat him by two points in that. But number four, whole hog, monkey bottom. We also love his choice of color for his t-shirt. And we do give you money at the same time. <laughs> Judges, volunteers over in the barbecue area, please seize Monkey Bottom's pig because that now belongs to the Great Lake City Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, son. <laughs> Number three in whole hog. This guy's been cooking here for a long time. Uh, it's a buddy of mine, real nice guy, Bigfoot's Barbecue, Jason Tyler. <laughs> so happy to decide to hit him this year. Was last minute. Number two in the whole hog. All butt shot. <laughs> Mr. J. Todd Harley from Darlington, South Carolina. How are you today, sir? And I'm telling you, I want to, you got to pause for a minute. Come up here, folks. We ain't never placed nothing. So y'all got to listen for a few minutes. This is my crowd from All But Shot. We all, all of us are All But Shot. We got two heart attacks, 16 stents and four diabetics, and it takes eight of us to cook one hog. So, thank y'all for letting us, what place even play? And you, and you are a politician, is that correct? Absolutely. Sir, so, are, are you trying to go to Mike Paul's We're going to give it back to him one more time. Let me introduce the team. Look at my crowd right here. Oh, man, I'm going to take it. Come on in up front. What, what position do you hold in Dawson County? Well, I serve as a folks' corner in Dawson County, half for five turns coming up. He, he is promoting uh, the eating of the pork, and uh, we ask for that. Come on in. 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 Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right. That leaves, that leaves one team. Somebody took my war totals. Yeah. Todd, Todd already knows who the winner is because he grabbed the sheep. All right. I want to talk to y'all here in Lake City, South Carolina about a thing called a dynasty. We had a dynasty here the other night. Mr. Damian Lee, back-to-back -back watermelon seed spitting contest winner. He actually upped his footage by five foot. When I was talking to him, he said, champs in the house. And I can tell you, he said he's ready for a three-peat. Tell you right now, there's somebody that's not ready for a three-peat. They're working on a four-peat. Overall winner. Whole hog, ribs, everything. I think his wife won the hula hoop contest last year. She didn't this year. But up and smoke, it's a business trip for him. Uh, look, we do take donations at the Great Lake City Chamber of Commerce. And if y'all want, want to give back your prize money, we will be happy to accept it. And, hey, would you like to say anything? Nah, just uh, enjoy the cook-off, great city, come and have a good time, man. We will be selling the top four people's pigs barbecue by the pound here in just a moment. But once again, three-time Lake City cook-off champion in a row, up in smoke, teams. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You, it's, it's hard to explain it. I don't have anything to say about it. She's standing here crying when they called us out, so uh, it's just it's amazing. The cook-off season is so long and so trying. 
we do 25 or 30 of these a year and you turn in good stuff and you don't get a call and it's just sweet to come down here and be able to three pick. It's just awesome. Tell me about the history of this competition. You remember like I do the first year that you guys yes. did it. It was freezing cold. Cold, nasty weather. We were at the airport, uh, out in a grassy field, little little power, no electricity. Uh, just wind was blowing, it was a nasty storm coming in. She's hanging on to the tent to keep the tent from flying. So, I mean, we, we've had it all. And this weekend, such an awesome weather weekend, great. The crowd is so different than that. Yes, year. yes. Oh, yes. So, last year's crowd was a few thousand people out here. This weekend, another few thousand people. I mean, the, it's become an awesome event. It really has. So tell me, next year? Oh, yeah. No, yeah this, this one's on the calendar next year for sure. For sure. I'm going to keep coming to somebody can knock us off. Anything to say? I totally agree with it. I mean, I'm just elated. I'm just elated to, to even be here and uh, to think that we won for the third time in a row. And tell them what news station helped you guys win. FTC. They've already interviewed us every time from the first time to this time. So You're see our you next year. <laughs> Look. For the 60th annual Greater Lake City Chamber of Commerce South Carolina Tobacco Festival. The dates are going to be September 18th through the 21st. Um, we're going to bring a lot of the things that you're familiar to. We're going to up our game a little bit though. We're going to bring some bigger bands. We're going to bring more organizations in. But it's going to be a lot of fun right here again in Lake City, South Carolina.